Welcome back isopod fans. This is Wally Kern with Supreme Isopods and today is the day. A package just came in from Peter from Bugs in Cyberspace. But something feels wrong about this whole thing. I ordered a bunch of isopods. Let's take a peek. The isopod vlog. Okay, let's get to it and open this right up. Well, if you know me by now, you probably know that I pre-open packages. And a couple of people know why, I'll just leave it out there as I pre-open packages because I'm a klutz. But this is all, the box is already open and let's take a look at these isopods. Another box, another box. Th thanks, Peter, thanks, thanks a lot. Okay, I think I've got this open again. Thanks a lot, Peter. If you know, don't know Bugs in Cyberspace, Bugs in Cyberspace is the source for anything bugs, from millipedes to mantids to isopods to all kinds of weird stuff, from alive stuff, from those animals that are alive, to anything dried up, anything preserved, anything for displaying specimens. Peter's the go-to guy. And little, little tiny packages, little tiny things. Or maybe this is just, just packaging, spacers. There's all kinds of boxes in here or containers. So let's go ahead and open these up. Oh my gosh. Well, this isn't isopods. Nothing about this video seems right. My hat doesn't seem right. Thank you, Andrew, again. And these containers certainly don't seem like they're isopods. Wait, they're not. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. So this is a spring flower. And I've got to make sure that I open each one of these up just to make sure I'm not throwing away an animal and opening containers that actually have animals in them. And this is another spring flower. Peter was generous enough because I've never worked with mantids before. So Peter was generous enough to send three separate animals. And he, he did that because he knows that when I get animals in, I really, really like to, to try to breed them. And the reason for that is if I can breed the animals, it's kind of a, a sign to me that I'm doing things right. So I am super stoked about working with these mantids. Wait, there's another container, another container. Okay, this is Red Fire. If you haven't seen it, I'm gonna link up, see if I can link up or put in, a, in the descriptions a video that Peter did in Bugs in Cyberspace on these animals and they are just outstanding. So I was fortunate enough to get four of them. Peter, I think I got the last four that you had. I don't know, maybe you have more. Oh my gosh, these are outstanding, outstanding animals. And again, I'll get a closer view of these later in the video. So we'll see if we can do some balancing here. Three spring flower mantids and four red fire millipedes. Stoked about having these. These are just outstanding animals. I'm really, really looking forward to working with the mantids and obviously with the millipedes as well. Thank you very much, Peter Bugs in Cyberspace. Go there now, check out their webpage, great animals. Thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate your support. Let's see if we can do this, balance a little bit. If you like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell for notification all so you don't miss another video. Thank you Isopod fans, Mantid fans. Now do I need a Supreme Mantids? I don't know. Thank you everyone for watching. And we'll see you next video.